Welcome back, Devils fans. And it seems Tom Fitzgerald has awakened from his slumber and has added to the roster. And while this is not a significant move by any stretch, it does address one of the glaring issues I've been talking about for months and months on this channel, as well as for a couple years now amongst my Devils fan friend groups. And the New Jersey Devils have acquired Curtis McDermott from the Colorado Avalanche in exchange for a seventh round pick and a forward, Zakhar Bartikov. I honestly have no idea who he even is, but essentially a no asset loss type move to bring in Curtis McDermott. And what this does, folks, is it immediately injects balls, huevos, injects balls into this Devils lineup that has absolutely none. I've been screaming from the mountaintops. That Ranger game must have really done something to Fitz and clubbed him over the face with the fact that we are a pathetically soft and wuss type team and we go out and get Curtis McDermott. He is listed at 6'5", 233, a big boy who is not afraid to chuck him. I'll put a couple links to some of his bouts in the description here, but honestly... I am very happy with the acquisition because aside from all the other issues that we know about, you know, goaltending, defense, the sandpaper element has been lacking from this lineup for far too long, and we are way too easy of a team to run around on, beat up on, and just completely abuse us in every way. This move injects immediate balls into the lineup, and we now have a sheriff. The sheriff will be patrolling, and when you take liberties and board Luke Hughes and board Shimo Nemitz and take shots at Jack Hughes and Nico Heeshier, the sheriff is coming. There is a new sheriff in town. His name is Curtis McDermott, and he will come, and he will chuck him and pummel your face in. Great move. To me, I hope now it's one of a few moves that will happen. It shows that while, you know, it wasn't a blockbuster trade by any stretch of the imagination, it does show that Tom Fitzgerald is a, at least not completely asleep at the wheel. And he's recognized what many of us here have recognized a long time ago. And is that the Devils were pathetically soft and we really needed some sort of physicality brought in. And, you know, I wasn't even hoping for a heavyweight type enforcer, which he seems to fit the bill of. I was just hoping for a more gritty type forward or defenseman, someone along the lines of like a Tanev per se. Um or a Pat Maroon, something like that. This is a bonafide heavyweight. You know, I'm thinking we're going to see some revenge on, on Rempe. The next time we play the Rangers, I want to see McDermott. He, he needs to be briefed on the whole scenario. He needs to talk to the boys. He needs to see the tape from the game. And he needs to be briefed that his number one mission, the next time we play the Rangers, is to take on Rempe and give him a beating. Welcome him to the league. But wow. It's um, encouraging stuff. It's a, we're a few hours away or, you know, four hours away or so from puck drop in Anaheim. And I'm assuming we're going to see McDermott maybe in the next game against the Kings. You know, out west. Yeah, I don't see any reason why there wouldn't be. But Fitzgerald earned a, a little, very little of what he's lost back in my book. He still has a ways to go, and I don't want to see him you know, let this be the end of, of his his move-making prior to the deadline. But this is a step in the right direction. He realizes that we lacked grit, and he, he went out and got us some grit in a big way. So hopefully it's the first of many things to come. Um, I still want to see the goalie and maybe a couple other little tweaks, but if all it ends up being is him and a goalie, I, I could live with that from a fan perspective. Um, I don't think... Fitzy could really fix everything before the deadline, unfortunately. But if, if he gets a goalie after this, then I could say, okay, I, I'm not as upset with you, even though it took way too long to do anything. I mean, we've been soft all year long, and I've wanted grit all year long, and I think something like this could have been done much sooner in the season. But also, McDermott has played forward this year. I just did a quick little research. He's played forward, and he also has played defense in the past. So it seems like he might be like a new, a new Brendan Smith in a way where, depending on injuries or things – that he could maybe slide in as a forward or defenseman. Time will tell where we utilize him, but he will definitely be utilized in kicking some ass, baby. Let's go. This team is not going to be battered anymore. Let's go. Super pumped. Check out the some of his bouts in the description. 
I'll be back later tonight, hopefully after another massive Devils win on the West Coast, keeping our hopes alive and hopefully pushing Fitzy a little bit more to make a move that's going to be substantial, a little Markstrom splash or a little Soros wizardry. Maybe he could appear in New Jersey. I don't know, but I will see you all later on. Great small-scale move that adds a lot of toughness to the lineup. Balls are here in New Jersey. I'll talk to you all later. Like, comment, subscribe, and all that jazz. Until next time, friends, let's go Devils!